Guys, so it's been a while. I want to talk about something that is just came out from Bitmain, and that is the new Bitmain 18 terahash Hydro. That's right, the S9 Hydro. So you guys have been following this channel. You know that I've been dealing a lot with the mineral cooling and the water cooling. So to see this, I'm absolutely blown away, but not shocked. I mean, I knew that it was the path heading forward just because of the experiences that I have been having with my own projects and my own miners that are running on the water cooled or the ones that are running on the mineral oil, which I showed videos as well. But let's talk a little bit about this miner. So let's talk about this new miner, divulge into it, and see what it's really capable of. Okay, so first of all, you see that I'm on the Chinese version of the website. You won't be able to see this on your traditional English version. So if you want to see the specs yourself, you need to switch this over to the Chinese website. Now what you can do is you could literally just translate all this information to get more specs of it and to see exactly what they're saying here. Um, again, I just found out about this, so I'm reading about it with you guys along. So I'm gonna take a look at these pictures and let's see what this thing is about. Um, water cooling miner, stirring arrival. All right, look at that. So we have one fan from the intake. Here's the cooling radiator. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So it looks like a much smaller setup, or maybe it's even larger setup, I can't really tell, but it probably has to be larger if it's going to be dispersing all of those heat with these radiators. I'm curious to find out a little bit more information about it. Let's see, 5 to 20 degrees Celsius. It looks kind of similar from the, from the front, other than the piping in the back. But here we go, here's some better images. So it looks like a new power supply as well, the APW5 Plus. There's an image of the S9 Hydro and the S9 Hydro HEX. Now I wonder if this is like a separate radiator cooling system. This is super interesting. I want to find out a little bit more about that as well. Okay, so it's probably talking about that you're going to need some type of good water or that water that won't create the buildup, that same stuff that I'm using in the ASIC miner. Um, but here we go. Now we actually get a little bit more into the specs of this. So the S9 Hydro, 18 tera hash a second, only 1,728 watts. Not bad. I mean, it's still relatively similar to the 96 jolts per tera hash. So, hmm, interesting. Zero to four degrees Celsius. Wow, 45 decibels. So this thing is relatively silent. So we are looking at a noiseless, water-cooled amp miner S9 directly from Bitmain. Well, I can tell you I am definitely not surprised. This is the only direction heading into the consumer base you know, if you really want to be able to put this in a consumer's hands, you know, talking from Bitmain's hand, you know, side, then you got to do it properly. You can't have all of this noise that is going through the house and driving everybody berserk. Now, I'm curious to see how much heat this thing is putting off because you still have to remove the heat, no matter if it's noiseless or not noiseless. Um, there is still heat that is being generated by those boards and by the power supply as well. And that heat needs to be removed. So remember, there still is heat removal. But I want to bring this to you guys as quick as I saw it. I'm going to check more information about this as well as this S9 Hydro HEX system. And then I will make another video with any more updates that I can find out about this so you guys are updated and you know exactly when I do. So for now, Minor Digi out.